Now here we have a spreadsheet in front of us where we are looking at the two highlighted areas. We are looking at this section over here that has cell phone numbers. And we're also going to apply some data formatting to this area over here. So let's go and have a look at this. Do you see anything weird or different or missing in this cell phone number? Yes, it's the zero. Now in Excel, a number cannot start with zero. So just to prove my point, if I put in a zero over there and I hit enter, do you see what happens? Okay. So what I have to do is I want this number to be treated as text. And I can do this in two ways. The first one is to go to the home tab, my number category over here. And I'm going to go and apply data formatting and say, okay, text. And then I can pop in my zero and I can just change my alignment and say, okay, well, there we go. That's fine. Now you'll see this little error that comes up here and it says, well, listen, there is an error because the number stored as text, but that's exactly what I want. So we can ignore that error. Alternatively, what you can do is to actually pop in an apostrophe and a zero. When you do that and you hit enter, it's going to do exactly the same thing. Okay. So whether you do it, you know, up here through the um, number group or whether you're going to do it with the apostrophe, the apostrophe might just be a little easier. Um, but whatever you want to do, whichever way you want to go, it's entirely up to you. Um, it's going to do exactly the same thing. And then I can just adjust my alignment. Now you'll see it'll bring up this error with each one. And we can just go and ignore those errors because we want the number stored as text. Okay, ignore that error. Right. So there we go. We've now um, got numbers which have now been treated as text. Then when we look at our amounts over here, it looks nice, but we want it displayed as currency. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to highlight all of this. And again, I can go up here and I can say currency. Okay, that's what it will do. Or I can go to my number group and I can go to my options over here. My format cells, I'm going to go to the number tab and I can go to currency and there I can say, you know, man, I actually don't want decimal places and I want it displayed as South African rands and then click OK. And there you go. This is how we've been able now to treat numbers as text and apply some uh, currency data formatting.